Hello, everyone. Imagine something. Imagine you were associated with a person. Maybe you went to the same college as them. Maybe you went to the same church as them. Maybe you were close to them in some type of way. For whatever reason, <clears throat> let's say that person really, really hurt you. Emotionally hurt you really badly. Let's say there were so many fights, so many arguments. Like, let's say there was backstabbing, as in, maybe I should not say backstabbing. Let's say backstabbing, crossing each other's boundaries in a bad way. Just a whole bunch of mess. Because how bad things were, you um, stopped speaking to that person. You stopped associating with that person. So right now, you are really hurt. Okay. Now you are concerned. Maybe paranoid, maybe in fear that the same thing may happen to the next person you associate with. Like, whatever happened between you and that other person was really bad and you don't want it to happen again so you may have your mind set okay i am not going to go through that again so i am going to do this i am going to do that i am going to behave in this way i am going to blah 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 i really hope this makes sense because of what you went through you may behave more aggressively. You may become more rude. You may criticize in a very bad way or treat the next person in a bad way because of what you went through. Now, I think all of us don't want to be hurt, but some people will go a bit too far. They may do some things, say some things, or behave in ways they should not, but they do it because they are in fear, in fear of getting hurt again. Can you really understand this? With this understanding, I believe it makes sense, not saying it is right, but I believe it makes sense why some people, some, I am not saying all, why some people may behave in bad ways or in irrational ways or accuse you of things that you haven't done. It kind of makes sense because, I would say because of their past. because probably they are still in fear of their past. I was treated like this. I was used. I was handled in a way that was not right. So because of it, I'm going to put all of this armor on. I am going to put a wall in front of me between me and you. 
and I am going to be really cold. I am going to do things that benefits me and not really you because I'm afraid of what you can do to me. Even if the other person doesn't even have the intention to behave in the same way as your past enemy. So what happens, you began treating the next person in a very bad way. Once things doesn't work out, now that new person will treat another person wrong, possibly. So as it seems, a long line of hurting people is created. I hope this makes sense now. Let me tell you what you need to do. Yes, you may get hurt again, but you have to treat folks right. I'm not saying you have to trust everyone. I am not saying you have to be <clears throat> everyone's friend, but you have to treat folks right. Not saying that you are going to be 100% perfect, but you can't treat people wrong because you feel like there is a possibility that they may do this and they may do that. So I am going to beat them to the punch and attack first. No, do not do that. Because I believe we all are going to reap whatever we sow. You can be cautious, but at the same time, behave correctly. You can monitor a person or say no if you have to without being very aggressive. And if someone begins behaving in a bad way, leave them alone. Whether it is a person in your family, whether it is a person that works at your job or something, whether it is a person that you met somewhere, leave them alone. You don't have to take abuse. If someone wants to verbally abuse you, physically abuse you, leave them alone. Like stay away from them as much as possible. A person may say, well, the reason why your enemy is abusing you because probably they have been abused. It doesn't matter. For whatever reason they are abusing you, they have no right to abuse you. So if someone wants to be abusive, leave them alone. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.